really ran me over <laughs> with a 4x4 four four. and you're my mother <laughs> guys you're my mother you are my you are my mother and you skr skr on my leg <laughs> my life a movie tire of the car i ended up at the back tire and so obviously she ran over me with the fucking car <laughs> still confused <laughs> like how that happens i don't understand like i truly don't understand here welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be doing a story time actually of the time <laughs> my mom ran me over with a car I know I know actually crazy <laughs> so yeah get a cup of tea something biscuits whatever you want popcorn let's let's get into it Alright, so boom. Basically what had happened was, it was, I want to say like 2005, 2006, but I'm not completely sure. My memory shit. What had happened was, it was Eid and um, one of my sisters had just come back from England because she came for Eid and my other sister and I were both living in Tunisia at the time. This is when I used to live in Tunisia, by the way. So... Again, I don't know how old I was. I want to say 11, 12, but you know. But basically what happened was, so it was Eid, and base, every Eid, my mom usually just, she cooks a lot of food because, you know, Eid. And so she does this thing where she used to take food to um, a lot of people's houses, like our family friends, friends down the road, whatever the case may be. And so me, I was really excited. I'm like, oh, my sister's back. I'm feeling, I'm just a really like, I always want to be doing something. Like as much as I like, I'm a hermit and I like to stay in my room and just do absolutely nothing. I also do love to just be out and about. I always love following my parents anywhere they're going because there, there's always a motive. Like even if you don't think there is, something will happen. So obviously I was like, I gotta come with you. Because I was really excited, I wanted to get into the car with her in Tunisia. The steering wheel is on the left, the left hand side. So I and my eldest sister, who had just come back from the UK, was on the right hand side already. And so me and Muna, who's like my middle sister, and my cousin Fatima, we enter the car because we were like, "Yeah, we want to go." And my mom's like, "Get down, get out of the car. You guys are not coming with me." And I'm like, "Okay, shady, whatever." So. Boom, I get out the car, it's done, I think it's done. So I get, so we're all in like the back of the car. So I get out from, okay, say that the car is like facing this way, right? My mom's here, sister's here, all three of us are here. I get out of the car and walk around to this side. And so once that happens, little old me. So I end up looking down at my foot. And then I clock that my leg, like my actual, basically my toes are stuck underneath the tire. And so I start panicking and then my sister, Muna, who is now outside with me and my cousin, we see this. And so we all start panicking and we're banging on the like bonnet of the car to my mom like, Oh my god, Amira's foot is stuck under the tire. Amira's foot is stu stuck under the tire. So, after that, guys, <laughs> I don't understand, I really don't understand. What's the sensible thing to do? Put the car in park, get out, assess the situation, and then make a decision. But no, my mom started panicking because obviously we're all like banging on the bonnet. My sister who's in the car is basically, she, was, she told me this after the fact, she was screaming at my mom like, oh my God, you're about to kill Amira, da 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 da. So my mom panics and she thinks that the best decision to make at that point in time is to reverse the car so she puts the car in reverse and I don't understand how it escalated from my toe being stuck under the tire to what happens next but basically now she puts the, the car in reverse I go under the car it's humble <laughs> I was on like if this is the first tire of the car I ended up at the back tire 
And so obviously she ran over me with the fucking car. <laughs> Still confused. <laughs> like how did that happen? I don't understand. Like I truly don't understand. <laughs> so obviously she runs over me. I black the fuck out. And then I come, so I black out. She gets out of the car is frantically panicking at this point let me just give a disclaimer by the way my mom's a drama queen like <laughs> she's literally so dramatic our nickname for her is actually angelina jolie because uh, we're like you're an oscar nominee oscar winning actress if you will like she's so dramatic but here we go comes out of the car picks me up like I just have so many questions. You, you, you ran me over with a car. You see now that I'm blacked out. I'm on the other side. And then you pick me up. Baby, sweetie. <laughs> like, thought process, please. So, basically, so she picks me up, and that's when I came to after my blackout because I was in excruciating pain. Like, she was holding me like this and my leg was like flopping it just looked this whole scene was just disgusting nasty would never ever recommend to anyone so now she takes me inside the house where we have a lot of guests mind you because it's eve so my mom takes me drops me on the floor in front of my dad and all his friends and all these people and then she faints You fainted? <laughs> you fainted? I'm confused. You were the one who ran me over and then you had the audacity to faint? Please. Make it make sense. Please. <laughs> I don't get it. So she proceeds to faint as she's dropped me. And then my dad's confused because he's like, who's the heart party in this situation? Like, his wife is on the floor fainted and then I'm on the floor my leg looks fucking weird so then my sister runs in and is like mama almost tried to kill Amira <laughs> like she ran Amira over with the car because my mom fainted my aunt did not know what to do she took soap water <laughs> like not even clear water soap water and poured it on my mom I'm like oh my god you're actually, <laughs> you're actually rude what soap water uh uh absolutely not so that happens, my dad is now acting fast, he picks me up, takes me back to the car where my sister, um, Fee, my like second eldest sister, the one who came back from um, England to visit for Eid, she gets in the car with me and my dad and then one of my other uncles gets in the car. And so we're now driving to the... Um, Oh no, Muna is also in the car with us. So it's like two of my sisters, my uncle, and I'm laying on my uncle and my other sister in the back seat. And literally the whole time I just kept saying like, oh my God, to my dad, like, cause he was driving. I kept saying, daddy, I really don't want to die. Like I'm too young, I don't want to die. You imagine like, you just can't get into it. Bitch, shut the fuck up. But I kept crying like, oh my God, I don't want to die. Like I'm too young, I don't want to die. And my parents, my, well, not my parents, and my dad kept saying like, you're not gonna die, don't worry, like you're not gonna die. Whole time I thought, this is it for me. But do you know what? Like, I know this is gonna sound insane. The whole time I really, I couldn't give a fuck about my leg. What really pissed me off, I'm foreshadowing into the next part of the story, but basically. So right to Terra, we, we were driving, driving, driving. We get to the, um, what do you call it? The hospital now and they granny me in and they understand that this is like an emergency situation but clearly they didn't because i was chilling like in one of these um rooms for i want to say a good hour just waiting to get an x-ray and i'm like first of all your service is shit i'm chilling with a not even fractured broken femur might i add which is like the most painful um bone to break in your body so Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get in. <laughs> so that is happening. I'm just chilling, waiting, and I'm like, okay, fuck off. This is just trash. This is literally absolutely trash. Then when they actually start to pay attention to me, I have to get an x-ray. But with the way that I was getting the x-ray, um, because 
So I had to get an x-ray and because of how the whole situation was, I couldn't stand up to take my pants off. This is the kicker, guys. The whole time, did I give a fuck about my leg? No, bitch, I don't care. What really pained me and my heart and soul, before it was e obviously when it's Eid, like you go shopping for your Eid clothes and this is around the time skinny jeans became a thing. So I had found the most perfect pair of skinny jeans that like fit my body, my legs looked good in them. Literally, these were my favorite pair of jeans. Guys, please tell me why. <laughs> They had to cut out my jeans. They literally slip slip. <laughs> they said slip slip. I was crying. <laughs> I was in tears. I didn't give a fuck about my leg. I said my favorite jeans. Like, you don't. <sighs> I'm still getting emotional now. You understand how much I love those jeans. So they had to now cut my jeans. I'm fucking upset. Like, upset <laughs> because my favorite e jeans i didn't even get to debut them properly i got ran over then they now cut my jeans like it was actually so triggering but that happened and so i had to go into emergency surgery and usually like when you're doing that they weigh you to measure like how much anesthesia they need to put into you but obviously i couldn't really stand up broken leg and everything so they guesstimated which bitch what the fuck is that legal is it even allowed <laughs> they guesstimated my um weight and so clearly they did not have enough anesthesia because please tell me guys please tell me why i woke up mid-surgery this is my life now my jeans have been cut up i woke up to surgery i had to wait an hour or two before they even checked my leg meanwhile emergency situation the whole thing was just a dub like literally from start to finish a dub would never recommend that for anyone in my life yes i'm about to pull up the x-rays because i still have them don't get me started you guys see this do you see so the x-ray is kind of fucked up. <laughs> it's bent. <laughs> Clearly, I don't give a fuck anymore. But um, I don't even think you can see it properly. I'm going to have to like scan it and put it up on the screen or some shit like that. But, guys, like broken in half. In half even. The whole thing was a fucking mess. I remember being like, first of all, I haven't brushed my teeth. And all of these people are here. And I'm stank breath. <laughs> And I have to interact with them? Absolutely not. Why? But it was definitely one of the most excruciating pains I've ever experienced in my life. I was off school for like, I want to say three months. Recovery time in all was like six months to a year. So basically when I had the surgery, I had like plastic put in my leg. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on here. I'm going to have to like... <laughs> Which, I don't know how to do these. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but, um, do you see, like, there's, like, a white something in there? that They put that in to, like, help mend my bones to fix it or whatever. It's my pelvis. You're welcome. <laughs> she really ran me over. I'm confused. Until this day, like, if I try to bring it up, she really wants to act like anyway thank you guys so much for watching tune in next time for story times other videos i might do a story time of the time that i had fractured my arm and then i told my mom and she was like just put like vix rub on it and then we went to the doctor and they were like bitch <laughs> she genuinely fractured her arm like vix is not gonna do anything <laughs> Your parents are actually great. Day. I hope my misery brought you some, you know, laughs, if you will. But yeah, comment down below any videos you want to see next. As always, love you guys. Bye, bitches. You really ran me over.
with a 4x4. Four four. And you're my mother. <laughs> You are my mother. And you skirt skirt on my leg. <laughs> my life, a movie.